Hong Kong reported about 8,500 new COVID-19 infections today after the city's daily COVID tally topped 9,000 yesterday. However, the Department of Health warned that the figure of a single day does not reflect the actual trend. Caleb Leung has details. Among the 8,488 new COVID-19 infections reported today, 8,252 were locally transmitted cases. During today's press conference held by the Department of Health and the hospital authority, health officials were asked what today's figure signifies. I think the number one day, a bit lower number today, does not re may not reflect the actual trend because we do have day-to-day -day variation in number in the past. And I understand that the government will closely monitor the situation and, if necessary, may have uh, other measures. The government announced it will go back to the old practice of only conducting random nucleic acid tests on those who declare a positive result after taking a rapid antigen test. For the spot chat of the rapid antigen test, one explanation uh, why we do that is uh, because of the low false negative rate so far we have tested. And the second, um, of course, is because of the uh, rapid increase in number of the tests we have to do. So we have to um, be more efficient in the use of our laboratory testings. Nine more residential care homes reported new infections. Some 110 schools reported 206 new COVID cases, with seven schools suspending vaccinated classes. Meanwhile, the condition of a 17-month-old infected baby who was earlier admitted to Princess Margaret Hospital is now critical. It's possible that he could choke or he might not breathe so well. And so doctors uh, wanted to protect him and intubated him so he could, uh, he could be put on a ventilator. The hospital authorities said infected children will be admitted to adult wards when pediatric wards are full. Caleb Leung, TVB News.